What is going on guys? Welcome back to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use them to get it for Bedrock. Let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so what you guys want to do is you guys want to go click the link down in the description for the bad Bedrock MC Edit download. Alright, so I have a 64-bit computer. It doesn't matter which one you have. It really doesn't. It works for both. So I'm going to download the 64-bit. And then what you want to push, you don't want to push open. You want to push in, you want to push save. What you want to do is, even if you push save, okay, and you have WinRAR, WinRAR is probably the best thing to use to unzip it. Then you push OK. Then you, yeah, then you can go find it. And then you want to unzip it. And yeah, you'll get this. And then what you want to do is, before you open up MC Edit, this is really important, you want to have your world. So this is my world I'm in right now. Um, I already did a test on this. I'm just gonna. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna repaste this to show you guys that it does work. And yeah. So what I'm gonna do is you make make sure you save and quit. But you wanna make sure you have a timestamp for when you save and quit. So right now it's 5:51 p.m. All right, guys. So my timestamp is 5:52. In between 5:52 and 5:51, because that's how long it took to save and quit. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up MC Edit. Make sure you run as administrator, or it might not work. Okay guys, what you guys want to do after you guys got your timestamp and all that stuff, you want to push, you want to make sure you close your Minecraft world and all that, you know, to get your timestamp. Then you want to push open. Then, and then I'll have something down in the description that you guys want to copy and then paste in this bar. After you guys do that, you want to find your timestamp. Mine was 551 in between 551 and 552. So here's my timestamp right here. Level open. This is my timestamp right here. So now, as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy my whole world. Right? I'm going to copy, not the whole world, but this little part right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, like, to copy half of it to show you guys that does work. So you want to push copy and then paste and then import. And it should import. And before, you can't exit out MC Edit before you do this or nothing will save. Menu, save. After that's done saving and all that stuff. What you want to do is you want to just quit MC Edit. Everything's done with MC Edit after you do after you do whatever you need to do. Then open up Minecraft. You don't even usually you don't even have to um close your Minecraft, but for purpose of this video, I like to close my Minecraft and reopen it just to make sure everything's in there and nothing's gonna you know corrupt or anything like that. Then you then you want to go in your world, and it should be loaded up in there. If it's not, then if it's not loaded up, then sometimes there is glitches with MC Edit. As I said, this is not perfect, but it is something. Now, I did not copy the whole thing. That's why the trees are cut off and all that, so, yeah. All right, guys, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, just like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you guys know when I upload videos like this. The last video, you guys got a lot of likes, okay? I don't even remember how many likes. But if you guys can do the same for this video, tell me that you love these videos. I would appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.